Okay, here we are at long last, the final two steps of the Mirage DIY pulse induction build. Actually, it's the calibration. So, s step six and seven. Step six is, is just attaching the, uh, the search coil. Um, <clears throat> you see, I've I did something a little bit different. Um, I put my uh, damping resistor across here instead of putting it to the board. The uh, <clears throat> the the board seemed to be set up for a a lower wattage resistor than I like to use. I like to use two watt resistors as damping resistors, so it it didn't actually fit in the hole, and I I didn't feel like uh, messing around with the soldering so I put a screw connector there um, uh, here's a quick shot of my coil all connected it's potted it's about uh, 400 micro henry's so I think it's 2.3 ohms with the cable connected so we're on test point three, which is the uh, preamp output. The preamp is the 5534 right here. And we're also on to test point seven with our channel two probe. And that's the, uh, the first sample pulse delay. So this, the scope is set to uh, 10 microseconds. First channel is at 2 volts. Channel 2 is at 5 volts. Um, <clears throat> the off-board pulse delay pot is set to minimum. That's the pot that connects right here. We're set to minimum. And we're going to adjust what it looks like on the screen. So I'll focus onto the oscilloscope and get back to you. Okay, uh, channel one in yellow, channel two in purple. And what we're going to do is try to bring these signals just a little bit closer together. Um, close up that, that window between the two of them. We've got the the, uh, the flyback from the coil here, and here's our sample. So let me get onto the trim pot here. Bring that a little bit closer. For me, that's pretty good, and. I'll just bring this up a little bit so we can see. So we're going to start sampling just after we were coming out of saturation because it, it, it really doesn't it doesn't help us to sample while we're still in saturation, right? So that'll be our base setting and then obviously we can also control it adjust it after the fact when this is all boxed up with the uh, off-board potentiometer and really that is it for this build other than the, there's uh, a, a few other uh, options that you can go to um, one of the options is the this uh, single pole triple throw switch that we use to go between the uh, multi frequencies I'll be putting that on and uh, might do a little short video of that but that's it guys so good build um, I'm gonna get this boxed up and get it out to the beach any questions? Let me know on my channel. Thanks.